Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a cornet. So I had a bit of a hankering to build a gasser, and I have a bunch of these cornets. These are perfect to build a gasser out of, so we're going to try that out today. 65 cornet. These things are sweet. A lot of guys make race cars out of them because they're a little bit smaller. I think on this one we're going to do the suspension first. Get that figured out, and then we'll, we'll move on to paint after. I think my favorite channel when it comes to building gassers is uh, Luca's Dad. It's the channel name. And that guy used to make some cool cars, but he stopped posting. I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can go check it out. The first thing I wanted to do was start an axle tube. Because we're going to be building some leaf packs for the front end. But we are going to need to build a little bit of a front suspension here. And we're going to have an actual straight axle in the front so it looks kind of legit. I took my cutting disc and I made two cuts here and here. And then I've cut out some little styrene leaves that I want to fit in those spots. So we can make a little bit of a bulge like that. So that will sit in there. Beauty. So I cut it to size just so that uh, it glues real nice and it stays nice and strong. And I just got to figure out how much angle we're going to need in our leaf to get the height we need. And the other end will glue right into that little slot. No slim burn. Alright, so that little guy's holding strong. We're just going to figure out our angle. little dab on there that'll just plug right into that little slot we cut leaf spring I like it bloop, 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 bloop. it's gonna be tight but it's okay it's okay tight is good Once it dries, we'll be able to bend these around a little bit to make sure we have real nice loops, but they're not bad. Got to flatten this one out a little bit, no big deal. Hell yeah, man, it's going to be real sweet. We're going to sneak a little axle tube right on the bottom of this here pumpkin. Right on the back of our rear end. That should put us just where we need to be. Let's see if we got this looking good now. Hey, that's fitting nice. It's got a little teeny bit of rake in the front. That's about perfect. Just perfect. So I slotted the rear tube. Just so I can get out my axle. A little bit of glue. So I'm feeling that. And we'll do our front. Once all that dries up, we'll give it a little bit of a paint job underneath, do a little bit of black. She's ready. Ready for the strip. It's a good look. It's a good look right there, boy. All right, I think we're ready for the paint booth. All right, car's ready to go. We're going to start out white style res. It's good stuff. It's 
It's really good stuff. Uh, this car we are actually going to paint white. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of my auto air colors. Semi opaque, doesn't matter. And a little bit of balancing clear just to uh, make it easier to spray. About 30%. I'm going to let this fully dry and we're going to start putting on some decals. Okay, it's decal time. Anybody who knows me is going to get a kick out of this. i place that on my moist sponge quickly. It's going to come to my attention that I haven't really been doing any Dodge cars and that's... It's true, I actually like Dodge. My favorite muscle car in the world is probably a, like a 69 or a 70 GTX. And I haven't even done one. Kind of makes me sad. Alright, all right. we got some sponsor, sponsor decals here. We got a Hodges Hot Wheels sponsorship. The old white Russian. And of course, we got Deep Jump Garage. <laughs> these guys have no idea I was putting these on my car. I didn't tell them, I just did it. Hometown sponsors, Hot Wheels boys. What else we got? I feel like we're missing something here. Good lord, these things are getting small. Four twenty six Hemi. Come at me, bro. And I'm going to put one more, one more little one on the side. We're going to switch. Got some little moon eyes, but I put them looking backwards. Because all you're going to be seeing is taillights, bro. That is it. Hair lights. Okay, it's time to make some headers. Take a screenshot of that. This is half round, 40 thou, one millimeter. Evergreen scale models. Why am I using half round? To save space. Headers get really bulky when you're trying to make them. So half round is the way to go. First thing I'm going to do, actually I'm going to make it a little bit longer. I'm going to cut four pieces roughly the same length. I'm going to be trimming after so it doesn't really matter. Okay. I'm going to take two and I'm going to put the flats together. You can see that I've got the flats together to make one solid piece around. I'm going to take our styrene cement and we're just going to cement the bottom half. 
like so. Now we're going to put it to the side and let it dry. And we're going to do the same with our other ones. Flats together to make one solid piece. And then solvent half. And you really want to bond those two together well. And we're going to let that dry. Now we're going to take our two halves and then we're going to glue those together where the collector would be. So I let the styrene soften a little bit and I mash them together. Make a nice little tight package. And I'll put a little bit more on there. Really kind of melt it into a little round shape if you can. And then once that side dries, we go to the top. Look what we got here. Got ourselves a set of long tubes. Put a little dirty bend in there. Blah 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 blah. I've got everything rotated so the flats will be towards the engine. The last thing we need to do, and we're gonna make a little baby flange. I'm going to stick that on there. A little bit of red on there from my tweezers, but it's okay. Now all we got to do is glue our flange to the end of this, to the side of this block, and we got her. See, by using those half rounds, I don't have a big, huge, bulky collector piece down here. I'm going to give this a little bit of a paint job, but first I want to see if it fits in the old Russian here. Hope and I can just sneak these headers. Oh, it's like I planned it. Click, 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 click. About ready to put the car back together. Came with kind of an off white interior, which I'm okay with because this is, uh, you know, it's a white Russian. If anyone's ever been to a live stream, you would know why this car being named White Russian is funny. Because normally I drink too many of those things on a live stream and then things get chaotic. I'm really digging it. It's got that look to it, you know. On these big cornets have such a long trunk that you gotta raise the back up a little bit or you're gonna just hit your back end. So if you look at the real cars, they're pretty jacked up. And that's just so that the bumper can clear when they're just burn. So other than that, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Put a little bit of a wash in the grill to kind of give a little bit of darkness. Get a little dodge on the back. Your sponsor decals. Your headers look pretty good. You can just see the, the kind of what the side of the block would be, I guess, in there. So it's totally worth it doing four pipes if someone's really looking at your work. So there you go, guys. That's what I'm going to try at a gasser. I think it looks pretty sweet. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing some more stuff like this. I'm um, going to change up this front end a little bit. I think I'm going to try to find some sort of metal to make my leafs out of. I think it'll be a, a lot better in the future than trying to mess with styrene. Overall, it turned out pretty sweet. I'm feeling it. Hope you guys are too. If you like this video, leave me a big thumbs up. If you want to see more gassers, make sure you let me know in the comments. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.